I sent tens of thousands of cold emails in the last 90 days with an 80% plus open rate. While most businesses are watching their cold emails die in spam folders, I've helped my clients book over a thousand qualified meetings using a system I'm about to show you. Hey, Hans here from Affluent Digital, where we've turned cold email into a predictable way to land meetings with your dream clients. In the next 10 minutes, we'll cover four main things you need to send thousand emails per day. And that is how to build email infrastructure that protects your domains, how to find leads and write your emails, which sending tools you should use, and much more. Let's dive straight in. Cold email in 2025 is a completely different game. With Google and Outlook's new sender requirements, rising spam filters, and dying deliverability rates, most companies are seeing their results tank overnight. In fact, in the last year, we've seen Gmail accounts getting blocked completely, domain reputation dying faster than ever, and campaigns failing before they even start. But here's what's interesting. While most companies are struggling to even reach the inbox, some teams are still hitting a 75% plus open rate and booking meetings consistently. The difference, it all comes down to your infrastructure. The biggest mistake is using your main business domain for cold email. If your domain gets blacklisted, which happens pretty often, you won't be able to reach anyone, not even your customers, or in some cases, not even your own team. That's why you need secondary domains. Think of it like having a separate phone line for sales. It protects your main business while letting you scale. As for domain setup, we use it by 20 domains and later we'll explain why exactly that number and we use variations of your main domain. So for example, if your company is xyzmarketing.com, we register getxyzmarketing.com, join xyzmarketing.com, trial xyzmarketing.com, et cetera, et cetera. So once you have those domains, you need to start looking at your technical setup. We're talking records like DKIM, SPF, DMARC, etc. And you need to set it up for each domain. Then redirect all domains to your main website so that when people, they get your email and they look you up, they actually come to your main website. And then now that you have your domain set up, we need to create the actual inboxes or the email accounts we'll be sending from. So for a thousand emails per day, that's pretty simple math. We are looking at two inboxes per domain maximum, 25 emails per inbox per day, 20 domains times two inboxes times 25 emails is a thousand daily emails. Now, this is pretty critical. Never exceed two inboxes per domain. Yes, some people say you can do more, but if you want consistent, good deliverability, stick to two. Now, before you can start sending any cold emails, there is a crucial step that a lot of people skip, and that is the warm-up process. Now, think about it like this. If you suddenly start sending hundreds of emails from a brand new account, it looks suspicious. You need to build up your sending reputation gradually, just like a real person would. A really quick side note here is that if you're in a hurry, in a rush, and you need to generate leads quickly, you can start sending emails from day one just at a really low volume. But after a couple of weeks of sending, you'll need to swap in new inboxes for your old inboxes because they're very likely to get burned. Now, when it comes to actual warm-up, setting up the warm-up, managing everything, you have two general options here. You can either set up everything manually, managing your own DNS records, handling authentication, monitoring deliverability yourself, or work with a partner that can be a software like Smartly that does a lot of it for you, or work with an agency partner that handles all of this for you. Think of it as like hiring an internal team of experts rather than doing everything yourself. They'll manage your technical setup, handle warm up, and make sure your emails actually reach the inbox. So you've got your infrastructure ready, but now you need the right people to contact. And I'm not just talking about any list of emails. To send a thousand emails per day, you need about 2,500 verified leads per month, maybe 3,000, and here's how you get them. So let's talk about sources first. Most people these days, they just jump into any database because databases are cheap these days and they start downloading contacts. But here is what actually works in 2025. You need to find where your ideal customers hang out. So maybe that's LinkedIn, maybe those are specific industry databases or company websites you can scrape. The key is knowing where to look before you even start. 
then I always say segmentation equals personalization. So you want to break your list into specific segments based on industry role, company size, or different company traits. This lets you send messages that actually resonate with each group. And then half of these downloaded emails, they're probably dead, they're not reachable. So what you wanna do is you wanna verify every single one before sending, or if you're sending to a lot of emails that are bouncing, you'll destroy your sending reputation. Now you can either build these lists yourself using a tool like Apollo or Clay or hire a VA to do it for you. Just choose based on your time and your budget. Another part that most people struggle with is copy. I already mentioned it earlier, you're making your life a lot easier if you keep that rule in mind where you say, okay, segmentation equals personalization. So make sure you build a really target list, a small audience, and you'll have a lot better of an idea of what you actually want to say to them. And the moment you start typing or you start sending emails, make sure that you personalize ideally using an AI tool. And that is not because you need to send these different personalizations to everyone just because of it, but that is because spam filters in 2025 are looking a lot into unique content. So if you're sending a lot of the same messages, if you're sending a thousand of the exact same message per day, the chances of you reaching the inbox are a lot lower than sending a thousand messages that have a lot of different unique components to it. So you can use variables and different AI tools to try and personalize each message, which is um, usually a bit more effective than Spintex. Now, once you've done that, make sure that you send your emails in plain text so there's no HTML included so that you, again, have a higher chance of getting into the inbox. That does mean that you need to sacrifice your open tracking, but in some cases what we do is we send out a campaign every X weeks to just track the opens or we do regular inbox placement tests to make sure that we can see where the emails are landing so that we don't have to track opens for our actual campaigns. And then lastly, subject lines are obviously very important. We focus on really um, basic two word, all lowercase subject lines. That's where we see the best results. So nothing too salesy, like um, special offer for you, anything like that. No one's going to read that because all their uh, mental spam filters will start going off. Really basic, the way you would send an internal email or an email to your colleague, for example, is a great way to think about it. Then we need to talk sending tools. So sending tools are becoming even more important now in 2025 because not every sending tool is created equal. And that is because not everyone behind these tools, not every team really understands what it takes to get an email into the inbox. When we're talking deliverability, inbox rotation is really important. That is something that a lot of tools are now picking up. So what that means is imagine you have 20 inboxes that you're adding to the tool. It will send one email from inbox one, then from two, then from three, that we're rotating through the entire list and getting different emails out through your different inboxes, making sure not one inbox is sending a lot of emails in a really short time period. That is vital. Then we need to make sure that they have inbox placement tests. You can use a different tool for that, but a lot of email outreach providers, let's call them that, they now have it baked into their product, which is really helpful. You need to make sure that you're able to send emails in plain text, and you need to make sure that you're able to set a really big delay between the different emails, a custom delay ideally, because some tools will just blast out emails every X seconds, every 30 seconds without, you know, without any difference between that. Ideally, they have some sort of algorithm to send out your emails in, um, in a ran on a random time format. Then one new thing that you need to look for that some tools are already picking up while others are still lacking behind a little bit is um, custom or dedicated IPs. And I don't mean just for sending, but for logging in as well. So for authenticating your inbox as well, you want to have a custom setup. So what that means is Google's able to tag authentication providers by saying, okay, I've seen this authentication provider being used for this cold email software. So any inbox that authenticates using that solution will flag that and there's a far smaller chance of that getting into the inbox. So you can do everything right in terms of technical setup, getting the right inboxes, the right domains, you can do everything right, but you'll never stand a chance because you've been flagged from the get-go. 
then there's that part and then there's the sending part so you'll have your own inboxes but your emails are still being sent from the ip addresses of these outreach tools so if their ip addresses are great then your you know your your sending reputation is still compromised so what tools like smart lead and email bison are now offering is your own completely separate infrastructure where the emails that you're sending your campaigns that you're sending they're coming from your own ip pool so that you're isolated from all the other users so if other users are being flagged as spam it does not impact you which is something that is currently happening happening with other tools You've just seen the exact system you can use to send a thousand cold emails per day without landing in spam. But remember, this isn't about hitting that number as fast as possible. It's about building something that consistently lands in the inbox and get responses so that you can have that consistent deal flow. So let's recap a few key points. We want to have a two domains with two inboxes each. We want to make sure that we properly run them up and then we use AI or at the very least spin text for unique messages to bypass spam filters. And we want to make sure that we stick to really strict sending limits. And you want to make sure we select the right tool for us to send these emails. Now, do you want us to handle this entire process for you and more? Then click the link in the description, book a call with our team and then we'll talk. Or do you have any questions about scaling your cold email? Just drop them in the comments. Very happy to answer any questions you may have for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.